Hello everyone, my name is Patrick Frawley and I'm your product specialist for tractors. Today you join me here at our Class UK headquarters in Saxon and in this video we are going to have a look at some of the settings that we can make for our hydraulics on our Cebus machines. So you join me back up in the cab of our Cebus machine looking at some of the settings and adjustments we can make in relation to our hydraulics on these machines. Well what do we have here firstly in terms of control? Well we can see that we have valves 1 and 2, blue and brown here. We can have also additional valves located here and here if we have them spec to our machine. We also then have our electropilot over to the right hand side of the armrest as well, being able to control valves on the X and Y axis, again depending on the specification of the machine. So very, very simply we have positive flow, negative flow and float all the way forward. We can assign these to function keys if we so wish, so for example 9 and 10 on the side of the C-Motion joystick here and what's quite nice about 9 and 10 in specific is we have a second push for a float function if we have a valve assigned to it. So then what settings and adjustments can we make on our screen in relation to our hydraulics? Well firstly we'll see that we have a dedicated hydraulics menu over to the right hand side on our menu cluster. And when we pop in here, we'll see a couple of different options. So firstly, on this machine, we only have rear mounted valves, spec you can see here. But if we had mid mount valves, you would see front hydraulics as a second sub menu. By popping into each one of those options, you would then have your valves listed underneath. So we can see we have valves one to four allocated here. So we can see controlled blue, brown, green, and purple. By tapping on one of these valves, we open up a menu where we can adjust firstly our flow rates in the positive and negative directions on top. We then have response times on the positive and negative side. This is essentially a ramp up time. So for example, if I had my flow set at 100% in the negative side and a ramp up time of 2 seconds on the negative side, it will slowly increase to 100% flow over the course of 2 seconds. I then have a timer that I can set, so 20 seconds for example if I so wished, and as I then cross over 59 seconds it changes to constant pumping. Underneath that then I can change where my valves are controlled, so for example if I wanted to change how my machine was connected at the back end of the machine, rather than having it plugged in on the brown valve I can now control it on the x-axis of my joystick for instance. I can allocate priority to this valve, so if I had a fan of a drill plugged in for so instance, I can assign that valve to be controlled by the fender controls of the machine, and I can individually lock off that valve if I don't want any function to it by touching that function. On the home page of the machine, I also then have a degree of functionality here as well. So we see we have our valves listed on the bottom of our main display. By touching on one of these valves, I have largely the same options only thing I can't do from my home display is by changing where it is controlled. So you can see also I have my flow rates, my timer settings and priority and lock off and fender controls and so on. By tapping here on my fender controls I can also, on the silhouette of the machine, I can also change what valve is allocated to the rear of the machine as well. When we would unlock the valves, when we are actually using them during the day, we would see how the state is of each valve, what flow is being set and how long the time is left if we have a timer set to them. So thank you for watching everyone, I hope it helped. Feel free to watch some of the other videos in relation to your own specific machine and if you have any further questions don't hesitate to contact your local dealer.